That's a good ball towards Derek Johnston. Rangers take the lead. The 12th win of the match. That was the move that John Gregg was hoping for. The slanted in swinging cross towards the near post from David Cooper. Johnston made the run, found some space, and the glancing header enough to leave Pat Bonner totally stranded. Oh, Burns. Oh, towards McGarvey, teeing it up for Sullivan. McGarvey again. And once again, the goalkeeping of McCloy to the rescue of Rangers. Again, it was all about positioning as McGarvey and Sullivan worked the ball into a shooting position. McCloy there to catch the final effort. Shot to Burns. Back now to Conroy. The lofted ball fall. There's a collision between McAdam and Jordan. The shot from Tom McAdam. Once again, McCloy on the edge of his six yard box. Bent breaking from midfield. Beaten by Tom McAdam. Now Mark Reed. Nicholas back to Burns. Again, it's Nicholas. A little flick into space for Burns. Great position for Tommy Burns. And that one just going over the crossbar, wide of the post. A great piece of play. Burns and Nicholas working the one-two. Look at the little flick from Nicholas back into the path of Burns. That positive direct run forward. He might have tried to pull it back, but he had to go with getting it into the near post. So let off for Rangers. Came in at half time. Nicholas showing himself short. Chance for Proven. The shot by Conroy. Put away by Jordan. Well, it's Mayhem in that Rangers goal mode. But eventually, after Corbin had worked his way clear, the shot came in from Conroy. It wasn't held by McCloy. McGarvey forced it past him. And there was Jordan to knock the ball clear. Tom McAdam breaks now to Sullivan. Redford getting back. Robin. Sullivan. Charlie Nicholas gets his first goal against Rangers. Look at the delight in his face. Well, that's 
surely clinches the match for Celtic with just three minutes left. Roy Aiken showing his tremendous strength and pace and fitness coming from the back. Outstripping John for that James Nicholas. Taking it forward, trying to find McGarvey with a square ball and come back off Colin Jackson and look at the finish from Aiken. Well, Billy McNeil still looks concerned, although he really ought not to be. Final minute, 3-1 lead. Well, you can see the joy beginning to come to the surface. Referee Kenny Holt brings the marvellous match to an end. Won by that stunning second-half performance from Celtic. Coming back from the goal down, Charlie Nicholas, the two-goal hero. The young Nick.